This is going to be a quick video showing how to use this add-in I put together for Universal G-Code Sender within Fusion 360. So to use this, uh, right now you have to use the uh, nightly builds uh, from the UGS site. So if you go on to uh, uh, Will's GitHub page, the UGS website, if you go to downloads, um, you can see over here on the downloads page, you need to go to nightly builds and then download either the classic GUI or the UGS platform, which I just started using and really like. So um, if you download this or this, then you'll see them uh, wherever you place them at. So for example, here, I put them here in uh, UGS nightly. Um, I have either the platform or the classic. So I have both of them. Uh, you're going to need to know this path in a second. So for the platform, it's in um, UGS platform and then in bin and then depending on whether you're running on uh, Windows 32, Windows 64 or Mac, um, you're going to need to basically know this path here in a second. Uh, so if you want to do that, you can come in here, you can say get info and then, for example, uh, copy it from here. Because what we're going to do is once you've uh, downloaded the add-in and installed it per the instructions, um, you should see it here now in add-ins. You'll see uh, this UGS underscore fusion. You can hit run if it's not already running. Um, you can set it to always run on startup if you want. And then after you've installed it, you'll notice that when you're in CAM and you have some uh, setups and operations, you'll see a new button here called post to UGS. And then the first time that you run it, you need to plug those values in. So I just have those ready here. Um, so I'm going to use the platform version um, for this little demonstration. So we'll copy that for the location. And then if you want, you can resize this. You can, if it's, if you're seeing it like this and you want to resize it just to make sure you have this plugged in right the first time, uh, make sure you remove that white space on the back. And then for the name of the post, um, I'm assuming if you're using this, you're probably going to be using the one that's called uh, gerbil.cps. Um, again, if you're using your own custom post here, uh, you can put it in, but that's the one that I have been using. Um, and this would be just the same name as it is in the uh, post directory of Fusion. So again, if you're just kind of doing things um, default with uh, whatever machine you're using uh, Universal G-Code Center for, if you're using Gerbil Base One, then you can just use the Fusion 360 stock Gerbil post. Or if you, again, if you have your own uh, customized one, then you could change this here. Um, this question here, using UGS platform. So in this case, I'm going to be using the platform. I need to check this box. I probably could have implemented that automatically, but to figure it out, but you know, you just have to do it because the way you send the command is a little different. So uh, I'm going to check that box. If you were using just the Java jar file, then you would uncheck that box. Um, select operations. What this means is, so what I usually do is I set up, um, and I usually create uh, setups in Fusion for each sort of um, kind of group of operations I'm going to do with one tool that I kind of want to post out all together. So if that's the way you do things, um, by default, this is going to just show you the names of all of the setups that you have in a file. Um, if you want to, you can select this uh, select operations and then it'll show you all the setups and all of the operations um, from the entire uh, tree here. Um, I prefer to just to probably not have that picked. Um, and we're going to just let's do the uh, lid fall flat profiles and then I'm going to do select operations unchecked. And then I'm going to save the settings. So this is one nice little thing that I put in here, which is that uh, just for these basic settings, if you click Save Settings, it's just going to um, save them into a, a directory in your user directory, your user home directory. Uh, it'll just save a little XML file with these settings so that you only have to punch this in once. And then once you hit Post, it's going to uh, post process that with the Gerbil post and then load it up into the platform, it's going to just, it just dumps it out into some, into a random uh, temp directory, and then we'll load it up into UGS, and then you can, um, you know, see the rows at every, etc., and uh, start up your machine and use it. So there it is, uh, pretty nice, 
little plugin. Um, I'll just show you the same thing real quick, I guess. Uh, if I go to this post UGS, if I uncheck the platform and come here, you'll see the uh, just what it looks like to do the other one. So again, this is the this would not be the pass to the .jar file uh, for the classic GUI, and then same post, and then um, I could save the settings again if I wanted to, but again, you have to make sure to uncheck this use UGS platform if you're going to be using the classic, and then we'll select maybe that same profile, and then post, and then it should open this up and give you the file uh, here in the classic GUI. So there you go. That is this little Fusion plugin. Uh, go ahead, download it from the, my GitHub page, and enjoy. Let me know if you have any feedback. Thanks.